this video we're going to take a look at product attributes and making configurable products. Now a configurable product would be a product where you choose the size or the color of an item. So it could be configured based on different attributes. So you'd go to catalog attributes, manage attributes. These are the attributes that are already in the product catalog. So let's make a new one called size. So let's create the attribute you want to put here, attribute code, whatever you want that to be. We'll call it size, the scope, that needs to be global. The catalog input type should be drop down. And you want to set use to create configurable products to yes. Now down here you can choose if you want this used in layered navigation. That means if on the sidebar you can filter by this attribute. And if you want it to be on the front end product page you set to yes. So those would be the options. And then under here, this is where you type the name that shows on the customer side, as well as the sizes you want to add. So you would click this button and add the sizes or colors or however you want that to show. Okay, now let's go to attributes and make an attribute set. Because we might not want all products to be like this. So let's call this one close. Okay, so these are all the things that are part of that product. Now let's add the one we just made size to the product and save it. Now let's add a couple of products. We'll add a small and a medium. And we will add a price in the inventory. And we have this store set up for cameras, but that doesn't matter. Let's put it in there. Actually, this one will go ahead and hide because we only want to show the configurable product. So we'll say visibility, not visible individually. And then we'll save it. Likely you would be doing this in a spreadsheet, but I'm just doing it manually right now. All right, now we're going to add the configurable product, which holds the individual products. And we'll click select size as the option. And put in the same details. Pricing doesn't really matter. It's actually going to pull the pricing from the configurable products. Neither does the inventory. So let's add the configurables. There we go. And let's put it in the category. Now let's see how that looks on the product side.
Okay, so as you can see, we can choose the size. So let's choose medium and choose the dates and rent it. There you go. You'll see that we added a medium shirt to the cart. So that's how you do configurable product.